I know my car keys are here somewhere. Hey, welcome to another show. Today we're gonna to be talking about taking 2D shapes and making new figures and shapes of those. All right, let's get right into the lesson. Let's do a little bit of a review. Here we have the circle, the triangle, the square, the rectangle, the parallelogram, the hexagon, and the trapezoid. Okay, we have four triangles. Let's see what type of shape that we can come up with. Let's move these around, maybe connect them together. Right here, that looks like a parallelogram. Let's see if that matches the shape of our other one. You can see that it fits exactly, but we need to take all four of those pieces and make one new figure. So one way is we could connect it here. Uh, and what type of shape is this here? Do you remember? Trapezoid. So we have a trapezoid. What can we make here? We need one more shape and a triangle. So we took four triangles and made one big triangle. Here we have two trapezoids. What type of shape can we make with two trapezoids? First of all, we're trying to put it together, see where it makes sense. What about that shape? Does that shape look similar to this one here? What is this called? A hexagon. Remember, a hexagon has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. Very good. Okay. Right here, I have a hexagon. Remember, a hexagon has one, two, three, four, five, six. A hexagon is made up of two trapezoids. Here's what a trapezoid looks like. It's almost like a rectangle, but a trapezoid is longer on one side and shorter on the other side. It doesn't matter if they're upside down or switched around. This is a trapezoid. So two trapezoids put together equal one hexagon. Now we talked about before that a trapezoid can have three triangles inside of it. You can also take a triangle and one parallelogram and put those together and that would be the same shape as a trapezoid. You can also make up a big triangle by taking two small triangles and a parallelogram and putting those together and you can see that you have one large triangle. Now for my next project, I wanna make one hexagon, but I wanna use one trapezoid and three triangles. So how would I do that? Let's put this off to the side. And I know that this fits like that. So it's like a puzzle. And put in your triangles. There's one. There's two, and there is three triangles, one trapezoid equal one, the same shape as a hexagon. Okay, here's another challenging question. I have one hexagon, and I have two parallelograms and two triangles. I want to take these 2D objects here and make a hexagon. So right away, I just start trying to fit it in like a puzzle. Put in my triangles like that. And there I have a hexagon. Now I could also take these two triangles out and put in another parallelogram, and that would be the same shape as a hexagon. Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show today. I hope you had fun putting together some new 2D shapes and figures, and make sure you check out my other videos, and please subscribe. Have a great day, and we'll catch you later.